Hi everyone, my name is John Hammond. Uh, a few people have asked for my opinion on the eLearn security and INE shift uh, that happened a few weeks ago. So I would respond to those comments um, saying that my response is generally positive, but I wanted to make a more formal video to kind of, uh, I guess publicly, publicly is not the right word, but I, I just have something standalone to address that. So that's what this video is. So if you haven't heard the news, eLearn Security announced a change in their business and I guess training model, right? So they have teamed up with INE and they now offer the cybersecurity pass. So that means that all of the training and all of the courses that eLearn Security used to offer are now accessible and available through INE on a different subscription model. So originally you could just purchase a course off of eLearn Security and all of the training and all the exams, all the labs, everything would be included within that. It was in eLearn Security. Now with the cybersecurity pass, the training is provided by INE. You'll still take the exam and the actual like culmination, the capstone test of the course within eLearn Security and eLearn Security is just a certifying body now and they will give you the certification. Now, this had made for a little bit of a hullabaloo in, I don't know, the community buzz lately. So you guys know me, right? Uh, I love eLearn Security. I would, I would shout from the rooftops, I was singing their praises and I am a big fan of the stuff that they do. Um, Obviously, myself included and some other members of the community would, would raise an eyebrow as to what this change is and what it does. Um, my reaction, my response is generally actually positive. Now, disclaimer, right before you grab your pitchforks and start flaming or anything, uh, no, I am not being paid to make this video. No one has asked me or told me to put this video out. I just kind of wanted to offer my fresh take because some people, I guess, are interested in that for some reason. Um, I know a lot of folks might not agree with me and that's totally cool. I am understanding of that and I'm happy for you to please voice your opinions, your concerns, your whatever you think down in the comment section. I'm happy to hear from you and we can absolutely discuss it if that's what you're into. Uh, Anyway, whatever, here's what has changed. So you used to be able to go buy one course from eLearn Security and that was sold as its own standalone thing. Uh, with the INE change and the cybersecurity pass, what that means is every single one, literally all of the eLearn Security courses are now available at the price of $2,000. Now, that number is I think what has poked some of the buttons and, and, and pushed some buttons for some people. I don't think that number is all too staggering because I did the math, uh, but, but we'll get into that later, right? Um, I want to address and I want to do a couple different things in this video. Um, I guess at a high level, I want to talk about for one thing, the value of this, right? I think the good stuff for the cybersecurity pass. And then of course the, concerns and the drawbacks. Uh, and I, and I want to touch on the concerns first because a lot of people are going crazy and I don't think we need to be all that alarmist. So a couple different perspectives, right? First, let's talk about us original eLearn security homeboys. Why would we want to switch to INE when we have this eLearn security platform that we really, really like, and it has all this good stuff for us. So here's the thing. You don't have to eLearn security is still there, right? I don't think they've really ever been about forcing someone into change or forcing someone to do something. eLearn security, you can still access all of your labs, all the courses that you own and go through the slides and go watch the videos. You can still access the forum. It's all still there and you can access it if you really prefer eLearn security. And there's nothing wrong with that, but we've got to move into the mindset that eLearn Security and INE are one. They've, they, they are together. Um, some folks have been using the phrase that eLearn Security got bought out by INE, and I really, really don't like that. 
they like now because of this whole thing uh they're using something like that that's a little bit of a negative connotation at least in my mind i dislike that uh i and e has been a parent company of e-learn security for like a a year and a half or something now like they've always been part of the logo at least from whenever i've seen and interacted with them but whatever sorry that's just me off on the side that's not important um more of the concerns right us original e-learn security homeboys uh, we can still access e-learn security and we can use it if you really want to the other side of that coin is are the folks that haven't yet gotten into getting certifications through e-learn security and going through this training um so they're point is that, hey, what happens to us folks that want to get into this, that want to do the cybersecurity thing, but we can't afford $2,000? Let me know that that is one uh, part of the conversation, right? There, I think there's a difference between uh, someone who literally can't afford that much, it is impossible, or someone who can afford that, but just doesn't want to because it feels expensive. So we'll get into that latter one in a little bit. But for the people that can't afford this. It's just too much. 2000 is too steep. There is a solution for you. There is, there is a thing that is really, really great about all this, and that is the INE Starter Pass. And now that's different from the Cybersecurity Pass, and it does a couple different things, right? So the INE Starter Pass will give you access to 150 different videos and sample training values, like different material and resources uh, across all of the different paths included in INE's training. Obviously, that includes your cybersecurity stuff, the stuff that we really want to get into, and it's totally free. So included in that starter pass, and this is awesome, this is kind of what we were all going for, because a lot of those folks that say, I want to get into this, are the ones that are wanting to take that EJPT exam or the eLearn Security Junior Penetration Testing Exam uh, and that PTS or Penetration for Testing Student course. Now, you might remember we were originally able to get access to this PTS course for free through the Ethical Hacker Network and anyone out there on the internet could totally access the bare bones edition of that course. And that was kind of the, the smallest sliver of the pie that you could get where uh, I, it didn't, I don't think it included labs. Uh, I think it had some, I don't think it included videos and it wasn't the exam itself either, but it was a, a portion and a good part of the course. So you could have access to it completely free. Comes along the INE starter pass now you can get that PTS course, that EJPT information, and that really the training that you want for free at what was originally and what I guess we traditionally know of as the elite rendition, where you have all of the slides and videos and resources. You have all of the lab time that you want, unlimited lab time, and it's completely free. Granted, you don't have the exam in that free rendition with the INE Starter Pass, but if you wanted to get the exam, that's only $200 from eLearn Security. That is the course that is the has the lowest exam price, and all the other exams now with this new model, with the Cybersecurity Pass, are just $400, which is honestly really cheap, in my opinion. So... Anyway, that is the INE Starter Pass, and that includes small snippets of all of the paths, but no full access to any course. You get PTS Elite for free with unlimited lab time, everything, and that's pretty great. I think for free, that is a, a really something you can latch on to. If that 2000, if that hurdle is a little too high for you to jump over, that cybersecurity pass is meant to kind of, hey, solve that problem and still have you, the customer, in mind, right? So now let's get to the other side of that conversation where, say, an individual uh, could pay $2,000 and they just don't want to because, hey, that seems expensive. That's a little bit of a tall order for a person like them. Uh, that's just too much for uh, what they want to pay for training. What you have to keep in mind here is that this is access to all of the e-learn security courses, all of the cybersecurity paths. And in addition to that, it'll include, I guess, their IT essentials and their development path. All right, so let's like take a quick second here. Uh, let's get nerdy, right? Let's do some math. 
Uh, I'm going to hop into a little Python interpreter. And let's just say, right, let's let's get B Python open. We have all eLearn Securities cybersecurity courses, and there are 14 of them. Right, there are 14 eLearn Security Cyber courses, and they are all available for $2,000. Right, uh, if we were to take that number of courses, and if we were to sell them at a rate that maybe any other certifying body might actually produce their courses with, and you know me, like I love offensive security, I love SANS, I like EC Council sometimes. Uh, Everyone has a place. Everyone has a has a niche that they're trying to work into, and they do a great job of doing that. Uh, offensive security, right, really dives into and deeps into red team stuff. E-learn security does red team, also does a little bit of blue team, also does purple team. And now with this thing, we could be diving into network and cloud and dev, like all this other cool stuff. Let's zoom in only on these cyber courses right now. And if we were to sell all of them, for maybe a potential price that another certifying body might put out, we've got $21,000, right? Put them for another price that another certifying body might put out, and that could be up to $100,000, which is whack, right? Now we're going to get all that for 2000 which is super duper good. And if you want to guess, like, get the percentage of that, that's that's 2% of that potential number. Uh, so let's get in those dev courses as well. So the dev path that you could end up getting when you purchase that cybersecurity path, that will give you 21 of those dev courses. And same thing with those IT essentials, right? The essential courses have 106 in those. So let's put those numbers together. Let's say our cyber courses with our dev courses with our essentials courses all together, right? You have 141 videos or courses, sorry, that you are buying and we're going to buy them for a flat rate of $2,000. Awesome. Again, sold at potentially another price where you're buying each one individually for a specific number that will very, very much go up. And obviously, I might be blowing this out of proportion here. Some of these aren't going to be these absurd, crazy numbers. But I hope that sort of drives the point home in that all of the things that you gain access to with the unlimited lab time, with the streamlined and guided process of learning, that is an awesome value. Holy cow. I think that's great. Let me get back to like real talk with John here. Let's get back to the me screen for some reason. Um, folks might be comparing this to other options out there, right? Obviously, there are fantastic war games and online activities that will help you learn and that are built to be training material, right? You've got Try Hack Me over here in a corner. You've got Hack the Box over in another corner. You've got like the Pentester Labs or VHL or plenty of these other things where you could be taking your time to. Um, I, need to drive po I need to drive home the point that these are different things. So with INE eLearn Security, you're going to end up getting a guided like structured and streamlined learning process where it's going to be much, much scattered in different places. Um, and some of those other online war games that are like, sure, a tenth of a price or a fifth of the price, uh, they do different things. If you want to learn how to exploit a off-the-shelf WordPress server with some vulnerable plugins and credentials lying out in an open and publicly accessible text file, those are great. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that to bash on any of them. I'm not throwing shade, but I, I want to emphasize that these are like comparing apples to oranges. They're just different. Uh, you get different value and uh, getting the certification with this is, is really what you want to end up doing, right? So going through this training and pairing that is one great outlet. Okay. That's enough of me ranting on that regard. <laughs> And I will show you a bit of the platform. Honestly, I think this new presentation is 
beautiful. It's really, really streamlined, kind of as I was saying, how sure, structured and guided, etc. Um, but you might be used to kind of the eLearn security side where you have this little hub and you can click around to get into your labs. You can go to it, any resource you might need to with, with the navigation. But with the new cybersecurity pass on the INE side of the house, you can click into that cybersecurity path in that section or go explore, take a look at some of the other different networking, data science, and other categories you could zoom into. And you could scroll through and kind of maybe find what you're interested in, or you could search and specifically say, hey, I want to get into exploit development, or I want to do maybe strictly penetration testing, maybe in the Windows realm. And you could go ahead and click on your course, kind of get into whatever you're working on. And all of this is linear. It's beautiful. So uh, whatever path you might be zooming in on, you get back into your module and everything, all of your slides, all the videos, all the labs that you need to click into, you just kind of keep scrolling down and you can see literally like a, a vertical breakdown of what you're working through. And obviously, hey, full screen your slides, do what you got to do. Spinning up a lab is super duper easy. You just click into it, hit the go button, and then you'll get the VPN access as you need. It'll create credentials for you so you never have to worry about those ever again, which I am super grateful for. So I'll be honest, I, I think I love this layout and this presentation. I think it makes for a really nice kind of streamlined learning experience. So uh, kudos for that. I might not have done the best job of wrapping this all and, and encapsulating it in this video, but I really wanted to show some of the actually good value that comes of this. It's not all doom and gloom that some folks are, are making it out to be. Um, eLearn Security produced a frequently asked questions page or an FAQ, and that has a lot of good stuff in there. And I would recommend if someone is interested in this, take a look in there just to kind of get a better understanding of the shift in this change. But I think it is for the better. I think the access that you get is is incredible uh, at that at that price. I think that's a reasonable thing and actually really, really great considering all of the information, all the training resources, all the material that you get. Um, was it uh, a rough start or a rocky takeoff, right? I mean, yeah, I, I think so. We saw, obviously, it drew, it drew up a lot of noise and maybe it could have been maybe done in a different way. I mean, the the starter pass, right? That's in, that's incredible. All this information you can get for free. That may have been a, a better thing to push out and, and publicize with the with the banner and fanfare and trumpets and all first. Um, and I think eLearn Security and INE are, are are taking that on the nose, but they are putting this all together so that us, right, the community, all of us that want to learn, and all of us that want to grow, uh, it's for all the right reasons. E-Learn Security and INE still have, I think, us at heart. Like, it's not like they're turning their back on the customers. And, and I hate to see folks just kind of bad-mouthing them because they, they've got to, you know, run a business. They've got, they've got to do their thing. Um, E-Learn Security, I think, from what I understand, even did, like, B2B business prior with an annual subscription model. And that price was $4,000. So I think taking it, they, they really took it down. They cut it 50% and uh, are just trying to make things best for us in the community and all of us that want to learn. So I really do think this is a positive thing. I, I see the value in it. Uh, I think doing the math really actually helps and hopefully your understanding of what, what great stuff can come out of this. And I think it's a good move. Um, so look, uh, listen, I, I don't want to bring this out and it, have it look like, oh, it's an ad or some advertisement for e-learn security and INE. Like you, you got to understand I'm only one dude. I'm only one guy. And I try to come to you with my unbiased self and not leaning towards one entity or the other because I do love and see a, a, a good place and a good position for everyone in our industry and everyone in the community and, and all that we do in the in the training realm. And I've said, offensive security does incredible stuff. SANS does incredible stuff. eLearn Security does incredible stuff. Uh, and this change is, I think, a good thing and gives us more to play and work with. Uh, and that's great. And I'll, and I'll give them a thumbs up for that. So I don't know how to end this video. <laughs>
Hey, uh, I guess I could just roll with the outro and we'll call it, but I do want to hear from you. I do want to know what you think. Um, I, I hope that I was able to shine a little bit more of a positive light on this. And I hope some folks kind of resonate and, and see that just as well. But if you did like this video and you want to see more stuff like this, uh, I have some reviews on the eLearn Security Penetration Testing Student exam and that course and that training. I have a uh, stuff on the PTP or the Certified Professional Penetration Testing one and a lot of stuff that they do in the realm of cybersecurity. So please don't hesitate. Go check those out. I'd love to see you hit the like button, the comment, the subscribe, all those things. And I'm, and I'm just grateful for you uh, for tuning in and watch. So I uh, hope this was good. I hope maybe you had some value and I and I hope we uh, enjoy this. This is great. And honestly, my opinion, I'm, I'm very happy with this and it's a positive reaction from me. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in another video. Take care.